Okay. I need to delete that last fucking video. Oh my God. I just had a conversation with my bestie. And I got really fucking fired up. And I realized in those moments, well, she was getting fired up and I was, I don't know if you guys use Marco Polo, but it's fucking awesome. Especially if you like live far from one of your soul sisters. Fucking super connected. And we were talking about being good and being bad and what the fuck that means and like who the fuck decides that shit and why the fuck we're listening to that shit and like who who are we letting into our beings who are we letting into our minds and who are we letting define us that isn't fucking defining us like why the fuck are we doing that you know and I was like I seriously this is what I want to do with my life I want to fucking wake up every day and come on here and tell everybody that if, if they are not fucking living from their heart and their soul and their fucking truth to wake the fuck up because I am living, I swear to God, this is like my brother's energy that fucking comes out of me. Like he was fucking 24 years old. Yeah. I'm a fucking broken record and I don't give a shit. I was like, you fucking wake up and you think that you've got time to burn. You think that you can just like live in this like mediocre life and like just like be okay with like blah 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 and like letting other people validate you and letting other people define your worth and just like I just like spewing bullshit like and I know that everybody who fucking jumps on this live stream and doesn't fucking aren't living their truth will probably pop right off or if they don't have this inkling in their soul that they're not fucking following their truth they are going to fucking leave and that is fucking great because you aren't ready to fucking hear it. And this is the time when we need to fucking listen to our hearts. And if you aren't waking up and listening to your heart every goddamn day, then what are you fucking doing? Like, it's is it worth it? Is it fucking worth it if you could wake up the next day and go out on a fucking adventure to have fun and die? What? No. No. That's not the fucking way to live. And why do we give a shit about, like, who says what is what? Like... Who says good? Who says what's good? Nobody. Who says what's good? Who says what's bad? Who says the word fuck is good or bad? We let other people define that for us. Fuck that. Fuck that. If you weren't living from your soul and from your heart, like, what are you doing? It just doesn't make any sense. You were so conditioned to believe, oh, but what about, what if this person thinks something about me? Oh, or what if this person thinks something about me? Or what if they kick me out of something? What if they fucking kick me out of something because I'm not fucking acting the way they want? Or if I'm dropping the F-bomb all the fucking time? Is that really somewhere you want to live if that fucking feels good to you? No, you fucking don't. You don't fucking want to do that. And so... That's what I'm saying. If you jump on here and you're like, oh my God, I'm not living for my fucking soul and not like living my absolute fucking truth, you're going to be thrown off. You're the connection's going to miss and you're not going to be fucking living your truth. And that's fucking, that's okay. That's fucking okay for you, but it's not okay for me. And it's not okay for anybody I work with to literally sit there and be like, yeah, I'm not fully doing it yet. No, it's okay. I'll get there. Well, when the fuck are you waiting for? Like, seriously. And I was just saying to my friend, I was like, I don't want to act angry. Like, I'm just fucking super passionate about this because I'm like, who, what time do you have? What time do you actually think that you have? How many times do you get in a car a day? How many fucking times? What's your fucking ratio of living? So why the fuck are you living right now? Like, who fuck? This is the thing. Life is right now and we act like life is tomorrow or we act like life was yesterday and we fucking live in yesterday and then we're sad and we're depressed and we're looking at all the bad shit we've done the bad shit who fucking no it's just your fucking path there's no mistakes there's no bad there's no good there just is there is fucking right now and that's the truth right and like Nobody could fucking listen to this and I would still be speaking my fucking truth to my soul because that's what fucking needs to happen. And we need to all fucking wake up and look at our lives and be like, I like that. I like that. That feels good to my heart. That feels good to my soul because that is the fucking truth. 
That is. And there's fucking nothing else. There is nothing else. And if you think that it's the money, and if you think that it's the relationship, and if you think it's the bullshit of the neighbor who's being an asshole and doing stupid shit and being a dick, that, it, no, it's, it's just fucking not about that. It's about listening to your fucking heart. It's about honoring your soul. It's about honoring. If you sit down and you get quiet and you listen to your soul and then you start fucking writing, it will come out exactly what you need to be doing. If you fucking listen, if you get all everybody else's bullshit out of your head, out of your heart and out of your soul, out of your energy and you own the fucking energy that you have, you will know. You will know, you will know without a fucking shadow of a doubt what you need to be doing, what your next step is, and even how to fucking go there. Because that's how plants grow. That's how fucking plants grow. They don't fucking know. Guess what? You're breathing. You're breathing all the fucking time. And I don't know how many gallons, so don't fucking quote me on this, but there's something like thousands of gallons being pumped through our bodies every fucking day. Without us doing shit. So like what in, what in our world makes us think that we can't have whatever we want. That we can't be living our truth. That we can't be getting on live stream and then fucking dropping the F-bomb. And then still like living the way we want to be living. And sharing our gifts with the world. And coaching or singing or playing the piano or whatever the fuck your soul is called. Creating art. Right? Like and that's something my soul has been calling me to do is fucking make more art. Whoa, that was a fucking realization. It makes me want to ball my fucking eyes out right now. But that's the fucking truth. Like, oh my God. Hello? See, if you listen, that's when the shit comes out. And that's the fucking truth of all of it. Ugh. So if you are watching any of this, I want you to fucking stop and I want you to sit down, if you're called, <laughs> and listen to your fucking heart because that is all that fucking matters. It is all that matters because tomorrow is not fucking guaranteed for you. But guess what's guaranteed for you right now? That you are breathing and source, universe, God, whatever the fuck you want to call it, whatever you believe in is making that shit happen right now and pump through your fucking body. It is making it happen right now and it is flowing through you without you even trying. So what makes you think that you need to try for anything else? Anything else? And the fucking trees grow. They don't fucking try. The fucking animals have babies, whatever the fuck they want. They don't have to try. They don't need fertility treatments. It's a fucking beliefs in all of us. It's your subconscious beliefs that are defining your whole life right now. And look at me. I'm getting fired up. I'm getting all. That's what fucking happens to me. That's how I know my soul's on fire. And you know how fucking embarrassed I used to be about that as a kid? But now I know, like, that's just my truth coming out. It was just fucking my truth unfolding. And this is me. Like, I, I'm i fucking done being censored. I mean, unless Facebook wants to fucking censor me. But then, you know, you just put all this shit on your own fucking website. You own it. And that's why I download my videos. But we can't fucking sit here in denial of what our truth is. Because that's when you fucking suffer. You fucking suffer when you deny your truth. That's when you get depressed. That's when you live in anxiety. That's when you have panic attacks. And you can make any fucking excuse that you want. But all it is is these subconscious beliefs of things that we've been taught. Because guess what? Every child that you were born into being, you were all a child. All of you. I don't care who you fucking were. You were a kid. You were a baby. You knew fucking truth. And you lived from that truth. And then people told you differently. And... It was bullshit. So guess what your job is? Fucking recognize the bullshit. Move it away so that you can see your soul, so that you can live from your truth, and so that you can honor who you fucking came here to be. Because it's not fucking on purpose. If you were not here on purpose, you would be dead. My brother fulfilled his fucking purpose at the age of 24, and I can look at his fucking life, and I can see that. I can see the path that he went on. And guess what? That is my fucking job now to carry that on to other people. And it might piss you off. And you might think, well, what about this? Well, what about that? I don't give a fuck. That's not truth, right? That's not fucking truth. That's not love if you aren't living from that fucking truth inside of you. And you get to define that. Guess what? And it's already been defined for you. 
You just have to fucking tap into it because it's been defined for you by the cosmos and your heart. So it's gonna fucking feel good no matter what it fucking is. I've watched my husband not write his book and he's like tortured. He has a fucking migraine now. I'm like, that's because you haven't written because this book wants to be brought to the fucking world and you aren't doing it yet. You haven't finished it. And your soul is going to tell you over and over and fucking over again that through, you know, the feelings in your body and like you're going to feel this ease and discomfort and headaches and pains in different parts of your body when you're not fucking fully tapping into your goddamn truth. And then I pulled this card for us, for me and Darian. If you don't know her, she's fucking bomb ass. She's an amazing singer and she's fucking amazing. Moon Goddess. It's telling us all about how we fucking need to live with the energy of the moon. Like, we create all this man-made shit and we think that it's, like, part of us. Well, it is. It's our manifestations. It's our expansions. But we are the energy of every fucking thing. So tap into that shit. And I'm not saying you have to fucking, you know, worship the moon. But recognize it. Like, recognize the power of the moon. The moon fucking moves the ocean. And guess what? You are the fucking moon. You're the fucking moon. You're the fucking ocean. You are the power of all of that shit. And when you can harness that and know that fucking truth deep inside your fucking soul, you will feel fucking amazing. I feel fucking amazing right now just talking. Just being like, this is who I am and this is what I stand for. And this is like my truth being brought out to the world. And maybe that's, maybe... Because there's no good and there's no bad and there's no mistakes and there's no fucking failures. Maybe that was the purpose of my brother fucking dying. So I could bring forth this truth for him, with him, with me, because we're all connected. Energy is neither destroyed nor created. That means we're always here and we always fucking will be here in some fucking form. Believe that or not, it's science. Whatever, you cannot believe in science. Oh yeah, I guess people do not believe in science. Fine, whatever. That's your shtick. Go with it. <sighs> Live your fucking truth. Live your fucking truth. Stop fucking lying to yourself because guess what? You know when you're fucking lying to yourself. You know when you're listening to the limiting beliefs. If you come perfectly in fucking line with your truth and your source, you know when you are not in alignment. And just so you know, in case anybody is commenting, I turned off my comments and I turned off who's popping up because of fucking distracting me. And I just needed to get this out and fucking be in my state of truth in the world. See? And I'm truth. Look at that. That's so fucking vulnerable for me to show you guys that right now. Just so you fucking know. That's so fucking vulnerable for me. But it's me. Like, that is who I am. That's part of who I am. And like, it probably happens to you. I know a couple people used to have it and they're like, oh, you know, like, whatever. That's fucking me. Like, I don't need to hide anything. And I'm sure there's still shit I'm still hiding, but that's the fucking process. We're always moving through. We're always stepping through it. And like, I know that this is my fucking work. I know that because guess what? I feel fucking amazing right now. I feel fucking good, like high fucking vibe, like I am connected to the source of whatever it fucking is, because I don't know, you don't fucking know, nobody fucking knows, but you can feel it, you might not know exactly what it is, but you can fucking feel it when you're in the flow, when you're in that space of truth, own that truth, I'm gonna go take this fucking high ass energy, and what am I gonna do, <sighs> tomorrow's the May Fair, if you're in Eugene, come to Waldorf School. It's going to be fun and awesome and magical because that's what we do at the Waldorf School. It's fucking fun and awesome and magical and connected to nature and truth. Be your fucking truth. I'm going to go gather some snacks. We have some kind of play date and then we're going roller skating. See? Like, that's what I'm doing. I'm fucking going roller skating tonight. Come. Come fucking roller skate. Watch us fall on our asses. It's going to be so fucking fun. Because guess what? You can't move forward. You can't expand yourself if you're not fucking trying new shit. So, if you got kicked off this live stream, know you're not in alignment. And just come back to it. That's your fucking truth. I love you all.